Hey everybody, it's Jamie. In today's video, I'm going to get ready with me for graduation. My makeup look is really simple. I didn't want to wear a whole lot because I didn't want it melting off my face. And then I also didn't want it transferring onto anybody's nice outfits. So, let's get started. So first things first, fill in your eyebrows. When I filmed this, I kind of went light on my eyebrows, but for my actual graduation day, I ended up filling them in a little bit darker, which was nice because they stayed all day. And then you're gonna prime your eyeballs. And then you're gonna put a shadow super similar to your skin tone all over your lid. And then you're gonna take a darker brown eyeshadow and just fill in the crease giving your eye a, just a tiny bit of extra definition. And you're gonna wanna blend, blend, blend with that because we don't want no harsh edges. And then you're gonna pat on a somewhat sparkly, light brownie gold shadow all over your lid and then blend that in to your crease. And for eyeliner, I went with my trusty dusty liquid eyeliner to do just a small wing and to line my lashes to make them look a little bit thicker so that you could see them in pictures. Next is foundation time. I don't really use any primer, I just put the foundation in on my skin. I didn't want to use a whole lot because again, I didn't want it rubbing off on everybody's clothes. So I just did a nice thin layer just to even out my skin tone and to provide me with some sunscreen. Although I got a weird cap tan line anyway, so it didn't really help. Make sure you blend it into your neck so your face is not different color. Next, you're going to curl your lashes and put on your favorite regular mascara. And don't be afraid if you mess up, just take a Q-tip, lick it, and just wipe off the mascara ASAP. It'll come right off, and then all you'll have to do is just patch in your eyeshadow. Next, you're going to put on a waterproof mascara. I recommend this because, one, you will not sweat it off. And two, if you're a crier, wear it. Graduation is very emotional for not only you, but your family and your friends. So sometimes people cry. I didn't cry, but I did sweat a whole time because it was hot. Next, you're going to put on like a light lip gloss kind of thing. I'm using an Ulta Lip Butter in the color London. Just gives my lips a nice pinky shade. And then I just put a little bit of highlight on the top of my cheeks to give me a nice sun-kissed glow. And then you're going to powder like crazy. If you're oily like me, then man, you're going to be sweating it all off. So powder, powder, powder. And that is the completed face. I hope you liked it. It's really simple, really easy. This is my go-to makeup look. So after this, you're going to put in your earrings. I got these nice flower ones from, for, from Forever 21 and some little diamond studs to match for my second hole. And then you're going to put on your dress. I got mine from Kohl's. And then you're all ready to go with your spiffy niffy cap and gown. What the heck is spiffy and niffy? Um, but yeah, that's my completed graduation look. It stayed on my face very nicely. Didn't rub off on anybody's skin clothes or anything like that. I also did my nails in like a rose pattern to match my dress. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Really simple, really easy, really fast. This is my like go-to if I know I'm going to be in the sun for a long time but I need to wear makeup, then I wear this. I just wear this all the time actually now that I think about it. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and it makes me happy. And I will throw as much virtual confetti at you as humanly possible. You guys can also follow all my social media and check out my artist website for all my photography adventures. And I will see you guys sooner rather than later. So goodbye.